Uh, Mr. Pollack, uh, in your testimony, you spend some time discussing the checks and balances necessary for our constitutional government. No part of the government should be exempt from oversight, uh, the Fed included. Uh, oftentimes, the Fed performs action outside of its defined role of monetary policy and unaccountable to anyone. Uh, this needs to be changed, and by exercising the power of the purse and putting the non-monetary mon non -monetary policy functions of the Fed on appropriations, Congress uh, can begin to rein in this out-of-control entity. So in your estimation, is the proposal a step far enough in the right direction to begin uh, to make the Fed more accountable to Congress? Uh, Congressman, in my opinion, it is a definite step in the right direction, uh, but more accountability uh, would be desirable. Uh, and this committee has, in, in other contexts, discussed additional uh, substantive uh, accountability uh, of the Federal Reserve with respect to its uh, monetary and financial uh, operations. I think that's a, that's a good idea. As I pointed out in my testimony in the 1970s, the Democratic Party worked very hard to try to make the Fed more accountable to Congress. They were right, but we need to do it more effectively. Uh, one more question to you, Mr. Pollack, in my remaining time. When dealing with uncertainty of the economic and financial future, you also state in your testimony that the promotion of intellectual diversification within the organization is important. One of the proposals before us provides for at least two staff members to advise each member of the Board of Governors, independent of the Chairman's influence. It seems to me that the Fed Governors ought to have access to unbiased advice if they are to make the proper and sound decisions. So do you feel that the Board has at times fallen prey to what I would call groupthink? And would you, with this proposal, help to promote the intellectual diversification that you feel is so important in dealing with uncertainty? I think it definitely would, and I think a problem recognized by people who are governors other than the chairman is this uh, fact that the staff always uh, devotes itself to the chairman and the dominant uh, uh, agenda, and this would be a very good proposal, as I said in my written testimony.